Today in our 2008 GMC Sierra, we'll be looking at our best gooseneck hitch options. Okay, we have three gooseneck hitch options here for you today. On the top, we have the B&W Turnover Ball Gooseneck Hitch, part number BWGNRK1057. In the middle, we have the Kurt Double Lock Flip and Store Gooseneck Hitch, part number C615-632. And on the bottom, we have the Draw Tight Hide a Goose, part number 9465-54. The biggest differences that we found between our hitches here today is that our B&W hitch here at the top and our draw tight hitch here in the bottom both allow the use of a fifth wheel adapter so you can tow not only a gooseneck but a fifth wheel trailer as well. Now even though our draw tight hitch here can tow a fifth wheel trailer with an adapter with its round hole, our B&W hitch with its square hole here is slightly more versatile for using an adapter. Now the reason square is better for a fifth wheel adapter is because it'll help resist a twisting action and you don't have to worry about your fifth wheel head twisting in the bed of your truck. Now one thing that our Kurt Hitch differs from the other two is the fact that our ball is secured with a two pin mechanism. This will give us a little more strength and durability and also will help take away some annoying shake, play, and rattle when the ball is inserted into the gooseneck hitch itself. Now the final differences that we have between our three hitches here today comes down to installation and the ease of it. I've personally installed all three of these hitches on various trucks and I found that the B&W is by far the easiest hitch of the three to install. Followed closely by the Kurt and then the draw tight on the bottom is the most difficult of the three to install. The reason the B&W hitch is the easiest of the three to install. Not only does it have the best instructions, but it also has the smallest crossbars here that you'll have to slide underneath the bed of your truck. And the way the bolt secured the center section to the bars makes it the easiest. Our Kurt is also easy because the way the bolts go into secure center section. Finally, our draw tight hitch. The way that it is secured to our rails makes it the most difficult to install because our carriage bolt here that secures our rail to our center section goes up this direction and then we have the one on our front rail going down like this as well. It's almost easier when you're installing the draw tight hitch here to lift the bed off of the truck. Now all three of our hitches feature the exact same weight capacity. They all offer a 7,500 pound vertical load limit, which is the amount of weight pushing down onto the ball itself. And they all offer a 30,000 pound max gross trailer weight rating. You'll want to consult with the owner's manual of your truck though before you attempt to tow that much weight to see if your truck is rated for it. Now another great feature for all three of our hitches is that they all offer a cover or plug to secure your ball mount area to keep the dirt and debris from entering your socket, making it difficult to insert the ball. Our Kurt and our draw tight hitch both come with these. The B&W hitch has it as an optional accessory. Additionally, all three of our goosenecks here today, we can store our ball in our gooseneck head upside down when we're not towing our trailer to give us more access to our truck bed. Also, one thing that the B&W hitch offers that sets it apart from the others that I like is that our ball is an anodized ball versus a chrome plated ball, which will give us a little bit longer time of use without having to worry about rust or corrosion and make the ball a little bit more durable. Now, also, all three of our gooseneck hitches here have a spring loaded handle which can lock in place, making it a simple one person operation in order to flip the ball around. Now one nice thing that all of our handles have in common is they're located on the driver's side of the truck. So when you need to flip your ball around, you don't have to walk all the way around the truck. You just get out of the truck and walk towards the back of your wheel wheel and pull the handle out. Now if I was gonna be purchasing a gooseneck hitch for my Sierra, I'd be leaning towards the B&W myself just because it offers the easiest installation, has the easiest to read instructions that are very thorough, and is made here in the United States with US made steel. Now in brief summary, we found out that the B&W and the draw tight hitch both offer fifth wheel adapters there for adaptability. The B&W square hole gives us more stability than the other two options with the round hole. 
We also found out the Kurt with its double lock pin mechanism to secure a ball gives us a little bit more security holding the ball in place and takes away some of that annoying shake play and rattle we may hear while driving down the road. BMW is a little bit different from the other two in the fact that it doesn't have a chrome plated ball. And to end our summary, we found that the BMW was the easiest of the three to install. And that completes our look at the best gooseneck hitch options for our GMC Sierra. We hope you find this video helpful and informative for your gooseneck hitch purchasing needs. Click the link below to shop, learn more, or visit us at eTrailer.com.